So we're going to speak about physics next, and we have Brother Brother Rakin Ra Ra Chowdhury um, from that half is uh, Rakin Chowdhury from Darussunnah Latifia, New York. Um, he's going to speak about physics, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, as Brother Hassan said, I will today speak about physics as it is mentioned in the Quran with um, scientific facts that have been proven recently. Uh, the first verse that I will mention is it refers to the existence of subatomic particles. Uh, the verse is وَقَالَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لَا تَأْتِينَ السَّاعَةَ قُلْ بَلَا وَرَبِّي لَتَأْتِينَكُمْ عَالِمِ الْغَيْبِ لَا يَعْزُبُ عَنْهُ مِثْقَالُ ذَرَّةٍ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَلَا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلَا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلَا أَصْغَرُ مِنْ ذَلِكَ وَلَا أَكْبَرُ إِلَّا فِي كِتَابٍ مُبِينٍ The unbelievers say, Never to us will come the hour. Say, Nay, but most surely my, by my Lord, it will come upon you by, whom, by him who knows the unseen, from whom is not hidden the least little atom in the heavens or on the earth, nor is there anything less than that or greater, but it is in the record perspicuous, which is basically the, Allah's record. So this verse refers to the omniscience of God and his knowledge of all things hidden or apparent. And it goes further to explain that Allah is aware of everything, including the atom and anything that is smaller or bigger than the atom. Earlier atomic theories um, stated that the atom was the smallest unit of matter and that it was indivisible, meaning that it couldn't be divided into any particle of matter that was smaller than the atom. And many sci most scientists believe that there was nothing smaller than the atom. Recent studies in science d discovered um, that there were such thing as subatomic particles, which were the particles that make up the atom, which are obviously smaller than the atom, such as the cathode ray experiment done by J.J. Thompson in the late 1800s, where he discovered the first of the subatomic particles, which is the electron. Um, and uh, this was the first uh, scientific s uh, study done that discovered anything smaller than the atom. However, the Quran stated this 1400 years ago, that there is that, that there are things smaller and bigger than the atom that um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows about. Uh, next is where the Quran mentions iron um, in the verse وَأَنزَلْنَا الْحَدِيدَ فِيهِ بَأْسٌ شَدِيدٌ وَمَنَافِعُ لِلنَّاسِ This is in Surah 57 verse 25. Um, we sent down iron with its great inherent strength and its many benefits for humankind. Now, iron, recently uh, in science, we have discovered that iron was not originally on Earth, but came down through um, the forms of meteors, and it came down to Earth, and obviously it has benefited humans for many centuries. Um, and notice that this verse in the Quran uses the word anzalna, which means that we sent down. So it is clear from the verse that the um, iron was sent down onto earth to benefit humans but was not originally on earth and scientists only discovered this in recent history but the Quran stated this 1400 years ago that iron was sent down and um, it also mentions that it was the benefit for humankind and as we know iron has been used for centuries by humans to build tools and for machinery that has benefited us um, and that is all for physics mentioned the Quran. Alhamdulillah, Brother Hafiz uh, in Chaudhuri, he spoke about the physics, the existence of subatomic particles. We know that there's electrons, uh, protons, and charms, and quarks, and other subatomic particles that we only recently learned about since I believe the 1880s was when we first discovered electrons, um, 1880s, 1890s, the end of the uh, 19th century. Uh, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, up until that point, it was thought that that was the smallest unit of matter by everyone and it was a consensus but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says he, knew, he knows what is smaller than an atom and the existence of subatomic particles shows that there's definitely something smaller than an atom and who knows maybe there's something even smaller than that I don't know maybe we're going to find that later uh, but then he went over how iron came down alhamdulillah he also explained that very well